Hey guys, Fletch from Cake here and welcome back to the Fidelio incident. When last episode we ended here, the radio ringing. I don't know if I can answer it. I'm sure he used to auto answer it when um, his other half was trying to call him. So I have tried all the buttons, so I'm probably missing something. But let's just carry on to this eerie kind of what seemed to be the prison called the maze or something um, so let's carry on and don't panic we're not gonna panic there's no reason to panic this can't be real can it buttons. Yeah, none of them work. No. Let's carry on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, it's the phone, not my radio. Uh, I don't know if I want to pick it up, but we're going to have to. <laughs> oh god. Stanley, can you hear me? It's time to wake up. You have to move on. The dream is over. What the hell just happened? Just a nightmare, right? It's all over now. It's over. Oh dear, okay. Gonna be cold again. Okay. The hell is those flies? The hell is that? It's not as cold in this part of the island. Maybe I can finally get my head on straight. Oh, we've got something here. I can hardly feel the pin in my fingers. My whole body is numb. I could hardly say the words on the page. I can't stop crying. They've taken away my heart. Stanley has been arrested for the bombing of Rory's pub. Someone must have set him up. I asked my father if he knew who would do this to Stanley. He just said that I should move on. Stanley won't live long inside prison. I nearly spit in his eye. I swear by all that's holy, if I find out that he had anything to do with Stanley being arrested, I'll burn him alive. Okay, the story thickens. Wow, this is quite pretty. Very, very uneasy. What is that? Yeah. Insects. Okay, let's do this. Ha! Take that, you little fuckers! That told him, didn't it? Right, let's carry on. Oh, I don't like the way the music's going. That tree. It's monstrous. this okay we've got another clue from the diary here or probably about the story I guess everything is in place 
but the air feels hollow and empty in my chest. Oh, I can hear my heart pounding in my ears. In just a few hours, life as I know it will be over. But that's only if I'm very lucky. Otherwise, my life will just be over. Today I'm rescuing Stanley. Okay. Thank you, love. Now it's time for me to return a favour. So, the black smoke, that's up there. I think that's what we were referring to previously. Another turn that wheel here. Oh, come on. Why is this locked? Yeah, why is this locked? I've got to open this one, maybe. Can I get over there? The tree, the tree. Let's use the tree if we can. It's quite pretty, actually. It's kind of weird to see any colour in the game because it's been so, uh, well, white. We can't, can't get past them, can we, there? Um, why is this locked? Why is this locked? I don't think we can go near them. There's going to be something around here that we can... Oh, another diary entry. We hadn't been to the ocean since spring, and it was a shock to see our tree so barren and frail. As we walked, Stanley wrapped his coat around my shoulders. It was still warm from his body, and I pulled the collar up to my nose to see if it still smelled like him. It didn't. It just smelled of dust and mothballs. Stanley said his father would bring him here and say, this is why we struggle. He thinks that now he finally understands what his father meant, but I wonder. I laid the jacket on the ground and pulled us both onto it. I just wanted to make him forget the rest of the day. I wanted to forget the rest of the world except for him. The grass was itchy and dry and the sky was as white as butcher paper. Neither of us bothered to speak another word. The cold wind would have just carried our words away. Okay, let's see what we've got down here that can maybe help us unlock that oh, other one. It looks disgusting. I haven't got to go in there, have I? Probably. That's why maybe this is here, so we can warm up. Oh, no, man. You want me to go in there? God. <sighs> At least that water isn't freezing. It's just fell. Go here anyway. So hopefully that may have unlocked that one that we can now open so then we can climb over the tree. Let's see. Oh, it's got a light on it now, that's cool. Light is good. That cleared him away. Okay, let's carry on. be a shortcut to the top of the mountain. Maybe. Uh, I might have to divert. There's some more bugs there. Uh, 
The air is heavy with the stink of rot and the buzzing of those damned insects. I don't hear it so much as feel it. I'm afraid it might drive me mad. Could this pipe work? If I'm not mad already. So we've got two different zones. Oh, we've got that one over there, haven't we? Let's go and close this one up. Oh my god, there's pipes everywhere. Okay, another diary entry. Molly works at the prison. She was worried about taking the job, but my father insisted it was good to have one of our own on the inside. He just wanted to use her. But it turns out, I'm the one putting her at risk. She got the powder inside, and there's a lad from the neighbourhood who will slip it into Stanley's breakfast. If he eats enough, the pain in his guts will be so bad they'll transfer him to the hospital. But if he eats too much, it could kill him. Wow. Okay, so that one's closed. This one is currently set to zone one. Over and see if we can open this. Ah, good. Those bugs are gone. Oh, another diary note. There's lots of these. That's kind of cool. There were so many people in the market, I couldn't hear myself think. I needed to get out of there. But when I asked Stanley to choose something for supper, he just replied with his usual, whatever you want. I wanted him to make a decision for once so I could stop thinking about absolutely everything all the time. The bags were so heavy and my hands were cramping and someone close by smelled like goat. <laughs> it may have even been me. So I dropped everything and let the bags spill all over the street. I didn't care. I'm sick of the crowds and the stink of curry and I'm sick of the hate. I want to walk through green grass. I want to feel cool air on my skin. Under a sky the colour of butcher paper. Smelled like goat. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're through to this bit. So we now need to clear that section of bugs up there. Because that one's clear, so it's that one there. So. I don't think we want to open that, do we? use that yet. Let's try and open this. That's locked. Maybe we have to... Oh. There's another one here, look. What a jumbled mess. Do we need... Yeah, we do need that open. that one. Can't move that. Can't move that one. So... Maybe...
close this one. Bugs are back, possibly. <clears throat> Let's go around this way. Now we're unlocked like this. I don't know actually, I think it's, it has cleared them. So maybe they don't have to be on both at the same time. What's that up there? Oh, I don't know. Um, that's not on yet. Like this is on. I'm gonna open this one up. All right. Now the path is clear. Is it completely clear though? I'm trying to stay awake. Uh, keep my mind on uh, before the plane. Crashed. You didn't. You didn't finish your story. About the time you stole the box of sweets. But I think I know exactly how it ended. Your dad. He knew what you'd done. He just didn't know why. Still, he never asked you about it. Never accused you of anything. So you never told him the truth. But it was always there, wasn't it? An abandoned space between you. Like an unfinished story. She sounds so weak. Hang on, Leonor. Okay, we've got some more up here. So I might have to divert off again. This tree is pretty immense. I got another diary entry here. That's one thing I didn't check on the other end. I couldn't go to my father for help. He's all for letting Stanley take the fall. But the mad bastard with me today didn't know that. So he did everything I told him, including stealing an ambulance. Molly called us about Stanley's medical transfer, which gave us a head start on the real ambulance. I looked ridiculous in the uniform, but our documents were perfect, so I kept my head up and let Stanley inspire my confidence. Even so, I nearly fainted when the guard wheeled him out on the gurney. He looked dead already. The guards loaded him on board, and I drove us away. Five minutes out, and the mad bastard dosed both the guards with anesthesia. And just like that, Stanley was free. Okay. Right. Where next? Another lovely swing pool. I need to clear that lot. Oh shit! That water smells. No wonder there's so many bugs. Yeah. Let's go around the side of it just a moment. door. That looks minging. Let's just check what we've got over here. Another diary entry. I definitely want to check that. Rory hosted a wake at his pub for the victims of Wednesday. I think he was just trying to show off. He got arrested last year for Dylan and the police broke his hand so suddenly he's all political. Stanley and I sat in the car for a long time, watching the front door swallow all the black suits until the pub looked like it was filled with ink. Stanley opened the car door, but I grabbed his arm and asked him to take me to our tree. I felt a crippling anxiety that if I went into that black pub, I'd never see the sky again. Stanley didn't say a word. 
He just started the car and we drove away. Okay. Let's check what we've got here. Let's not clear that lot. And by the looks of things, we've got to get in there. not a massive fan about. What's that up there? Can't do anything with it. Um oh god. doing for air Didn't really give me any indication think what's growing in there. But it's rotten. Oh, Christ. Huh, okay. Let's try this. This is on anyway. Let's see if that helps with the smell. I've already gone in there. <laughs> oh, what a plum. Nope. Now we can see what I'm working with. Yeah, it's a bit better, isn't it, Stanley? Okay. Get on to the bottom first. Looks like it's just that door. Which you should now be able to open. Someone closed the door. <laughs> right, let's go up here. I don't like corners. What was that knocking noise? We're definitely going up. Oh yeah, we're at the top bit now. Okay. Another vent there. And that one's on. Where would it be going from here? Close this one. And then go and open this 
one. Not sure we're going from here, that's the thing. Not sure we'll find out. Still locked. Maybe now the door's open we can fill it back up. Uh, let me go up here. Okay, now let's try that one. Oh, you're trying to get above the tree, aren't we? That's cleared that lock. Here. What? That's it? Is that all you got? Oh, you bastard. Need to figure something out. The bugs are still there. Ah. I wonder whether because the door's open down there that we can fill it up with the water again. Try it, let's try it. Don't know, but we can but try. Left anything down. Nothing down there, is it? Oh, what's this? A, a scarf. This makes no sense. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't like it now! Oh jeez, are we going to go past like this? Oh man. Okay, let's just try it. Close your eyes. Oh, Jesus. I can't see the tree. Almost there, Leonor. Almost there, love. Wow, that scarf is really freaky. Ooh. And we have another diary entry. Let's uh, grab this. Mother Mary, Paddy has been killed. The British papers named it the Boxing Day Raid. But it wasn't a raid. Around here they're calling it the Wren's Day Massacre. Seven people shot down on the day after Christmas. I don't know what they're meeting about and I don't want to know. They were all violent men except for Stanley's father. What, what was Paddy Whitaker doing there? And how did he hear about the meeting? What, was he trying to talk them out of whatever they were planning? I need to find Stanley. He must be going through hell. Quite emotional, these diary entries in there. Um, 